In this video we're going to talk about functions and relations. So a function by definition is a correspondence between a first set that we call the domain and a second set called the range such that each member of the domain corresponds to exactly one member of the range. So let's look at an example. Is the following correspondence a function? If so, what is the domain and range? So notice uh, this is a correspondence. Uh, 2 corresponds to red, 7 corresponds to blue, minus 4 corresponds to blue. So the 2, 7, and minus 4, that's the first set. That's the domain. The second set, the red and the blue, is, is, is the range. Now is it true that each member of the first set corresponds to exactly one member of the range? Yes. Notice that 2 corresponds to one thing. 7 corresponds to one thing, and minus 4 corresponds to one thing. So this is a function. Okay, so down here, is it a function? Yes. Okay, now what is the domain? The domain is just the set of these three things, 2, 7, and minus 4. And when you have a set that just has finitely many things in it and you just list out the things, you put these little curly braces around your set. Now, if it's like an interval or something like that, you don't use curly braces. Okay, the range in this case is just the two uh, colors, red and blue. Okay, so notice that this is a function and we've listed the domain and the range. Now we could also represent this function using ordered pairs. Okay, the fact that 2 corresponds to red means that we could write the ordered pair 2 comma red and we could write the ordered pair 7 comma blue and minus 4 blue. And we could put this as it lists this as a set as well. We have the set of these three ordered pairs. Notice that we're getting the exact same information from these arrows here, this picture up here, that we do from the uh, the set of ordered pairs. Okay, and finally, uh, we could also call this uh, function f. If we called the function f, we could represent the function using function notation. So the fact that 2 corresponds to red, we could either draw it with an arrow like this or draw an ordered pair, or we could say that f of 2 is red. Okay, and f of 7 would be blue, and f of minus 4 is blue. So these are three different ways of representing this function. This is called function notation, and here's where we're giving our function a name. We're calling it f. Uh, we could represent it using ordered pairs, and we could represent it using arrows. And all three of those things give you the same information, the exact same information. Let's do another example. Is the following correspondence a function? Notice we do have a correspondence between a first set and a second set here. But this time we have a problem because 5 corresponds to two different things. So this is not a function. Okay, now the problem is not with four. The problem is not that two arrows go to four. That's not a problem. The problem is that five corresponds to two different things. And remember, to be a function, each element of the domain has to correspond to exactly one element of the range. So that's not a function. Okay, now that example that we just did, though, is what's called a relation. A relation is a correspondence between a first set called the domain and a second set called the range such that each member of the domain corresponds to at least one member of the range. So remember for a function it was exactly one but for a relation it says at least one and notice this example here is it true that each member of the domain corresponds to at least one member of the range? Yes. Okay, 8 corresponds to one thing, 1 corresponds to one thing, and 5 corresponds to two things. So that is a relation. And also the previous example up here is also a relation. Any function would, would definitely also be a relation. Okay, so no, both of the previous examples are relations. In fact, any set of ordered pairs is a relation. Okay, we wrote these as ordered pairs here. Any collection of ordered pairs would end up being a relation. Okay, so let's do a, a couple examples here. Determine whether each of the following relations is a function. Okay, and state the domain and range. So notice we have a collection of these three ordered pairs. Uh, is this a function? Well, no, because notice that 9 corresponds to two different things. 9 goes to minus 5, and 9 also goes to 5. So no, this is not a relation. But we still can talk about the domain and the range. Right now, the domain would include 9 
and well nine again but we only have to write nine one time you don't want to write nine twice and two so the nine is just a set of these two things not other the domain is the set of these two things nine and two and actually it doesn't matter which one you put first it's just a set you could put two and nine or nine and two it's a it's a set here by the way that's not an ordered pair right these are squiggly braces here it's a set okay and the range uh, includes minus five five and four Okay, and the last example for this video, I uh, notice we have a collection of four ordered pairs here. Uh, is this a function? Uh, we have minus four, three, zero, three, two, seven, and six, three. Turns out, yes, it is a function. Each thing in the domain, the minus four, the zero, the two, and the six, correspond to exactly one thing in the range. Okay, minus four only corresponds to one thing. It corresponds to three. I don't see another ordered pair that has minus four comma something else. Right, and the range would be three and seven. Now we are also going to talk about uh, functions using formulas, and that's probably something you're a little bit more familiar with, like f of x equals x squared or something like that. And we'll talk about domain and range and things like that when we have functions in that kind of more familiar setting. But this is just an introduction to the idea of what a function is.